War between Azerbaijan and Armenia may break out during one week, Pashinyan. The war between Azerbaijan and Armenia may begin before the end of the week if Yerevan refuses to compromise on the issue of border exclaves. This statement was made by the Prime Minister of Armenia, Nikol Pashinyan. He added that such a development is possible if Yerevan does not agree to a compromise on the border exclave villages. Pashinyan told residents of borderline villages in the Tavush province that unless Yerevan reaches a compromise with Baku on the issue of Soviet-era enclaves along the border, a war may erupt there later this week. Now we can leave here, go and tell Azerbaijan that we are not going to do anything. This means that a war will be started at the end of this week, Pashinyan said in a video of his meeting with villagers released by the Armenian government. I know what will happen when this war ends, the Armenian premier added as he explained that civilians would ask him after a military conflict ends why he, being aware of the threat of an outbreak of hostilities, hadn't warned them in advance. Pashinyan said that the process of border demarcation and delimitation between Armenia and Azerbaijan has entered the practical stage. The process of delimitation and demarcation between Armenia and Azerbaijan has entered the practical stage. This means that it is necessary to clarify where the border of Armenia actually is. Our policy is to prevent war, he said. Citing the Alma Ata and Prague agreements, Pashinyan acknowledged that the former administrative border, which existed during the Soviet Union, is somewhat beyond that present administrative border. He went on to call for both states to reaffirm the frontier defined by the Alma Ata agreement. По кому они бьют, что вот, вот с такими военными они воюют, у меня бля, рот просто, просто рот не работает, все, вот, пи... не могу сказать, кусками поражающими оторвало полду. Вот здесь, смотрите, вот сейчас здесь горит девочка маленькая, заживо, все, ее нет, отец успел выйти. Смотрите, с мразями, что воюют. Кто воюет? С кем они воюют? Что они делают? Да. Images of Chechen volunteers entering the Belgorod region of Russia together with the Free Russian Legion, the Russian Volunteer Corps, and the Siberian Battalion have been released from the Gorkovsky settlement of the region. Chechen fighters ironically say that they came to participate in the presidential elections held in Russia, but they could not find a polling station for it. The fighters said that the settlement was completely deserted, abandoned by residents and Russian soldiers, and that the traitorous Chechens fighting in the Russian army did not resist them either. It should be noted that the Legion of Free Russia announced that on March 17, together with Chechen volunteers, they had taken full control of the residential area and released footage from the area. Военная разведка Чеченской Республики Ичкерии находится на Белгородской области, село Горьковское. Сегодня 17 марта. Пришли на голосование Путина. Не можем найти урну бюллетеней. Все каким-то поспешным образом покинули Белгородскую область. Одна хромая корова и несколько собак. В частности, хотим поблагодарить нашего национал-предателя Рустама Агуева за то, что не оказал нам никакую, никакого сопротивления. 
никаких трудностей он нам не предоставил.